Are you ready for the next level? Introducing the all-new Skoda Scala. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the new Skoda Scala. Already with our show car visionaries, we made a bold statement at the Paris Motor Show in early October. And we have promised that the serious version will be design-wise really close to what we have shown there. And I hope you all agree, our design team has done a fantastic job. <laughs> the Scala is expressive. It's confident, it's dynamic. And for us, this day truly marks a real milestone. Because this characterful design language will now influence all new Skoda models from both the exterior and especially, you will see it in a couple of minutes, the interior design. However, it comes down to more than just design. We are convinced that the Scala has the best chances to redefining the compact glass for Skoda. First of all, it stands for the typical smart understatement that sets the Skoda products apart and makes the brand strong, clear, and distinctive. And we have something added, something special, something crucial to this solid base. The Scala demonstrates a completely new interior concept with new applications you normally would expect only in higher classes. A prominent proof is the large, the central display that is our new command center for both the driver and the front passenger. And it is the largest in the segment as well as the virtual cockpit, both real USPs. Also in terms of connectivity, the Scala takes a huge step too. We have equipped it with the latest generation of online mobile services. A very special feature is updates over the air. This makes ownership, again, more easy and more convenient. And we are making the Scala a front runner for this technology throughout the entire Volkswagen Group. Ladies and gentlemen, bringing a new car onto the road is always something very special. And above all, it comes down to one really crucial thing. And this is teamwork. I would like to thank all Skodians who have worked on the Scala with the Skoda typical inventiveness and passion. I know that almost all of them who could not attend here are now sitting anywhere in the world in front of their devices to be part of this premiere. Dear colleagues, wherever you are, you have created the best conditions for our new compact model to become a global success. Thank you all indeed. <laughs> and now to give you some more details about the technical and alignment, our board member for research and development, Christian Schubert will now explain you everything what you have to know about this car. Christian, stage is yours. <laughs> Yes, Bernard, you're right. It is always a special moment. Ladies and gentlemen, also a warm welcome from my side to the world premiere of our new Skoda Scala here in Tel Aviv.
Before I tell you more about the car, let me briefly explain you why the Scala is for me personally so special. Therefore, let us go back into the year 2015, exactly to the 13th of October. My first day in technical development of Skoda, it was also my birthday. So really a special day for me. And this is more important, my very first meeting on that day was the milestone project definition of our Scala. In other words, we started this wonderful story of this car. Now only a little bit more than three years later. I'm happy to present you the result, our new Skoda Scala. Three years of hard work, challenges, new ideas are lying behind us. We all are really excited about this car because it represents a big step for us and opens a new chapter for Skoda in the compact class, as our CEO Bernhard Meyer already said. The all-new Scala is our first car which is based on the MQB A0, a variant of the modular transverse platform from the Volkswagen Group. This platform enables us to fit the Scala with modern and efficient engines, allows us to add the advanced assistance systems like lane assist or side assist or adaptive cruise control operating up to 200 km per hour. And most important, this platform offers the Scala more space, which belongs to Skoda's DNA. It is also needless to say that our Scala, with its latest active and passive safety features, up to nine airbags, is one of the safest vehicles in its class. Ladies and gentlemen, let us also have a look at the available engines. All five engines conform the latest European emission standards and they all are as powerful as efficient. Three TSI petrol and one TDI engine with SCR technology. And next year we will also introduce a CNG engine with 90 horsepower. Designed to be run on natural gas, this engine will represent the most eco-friendly way of driving a Scala. Ladies and gentlemen, our all-new Scala stands for innovative technologies. I want to point out three things. First, our Scala is the first car with latest generation of the infotainment systems in the whole Volkswagen Group. Second, the virtual cockpit, this big 10-inch display, again best in class for the compact segment, can be personalized and offers for different views. In combination with this, the SmartLink Plus technology enables our customer to use CarPlay, Android Auto, MirrorLink, and SmartGate, and all of this wirelessly. And third, of course, our new Scala is always online. New features and new web apps can be downloaded anytime in our in-car shop. Parallel, we redesigned our Skoda Connect app. For example, now you can lock and unlock your car from anywhere. Also, you can detect its current position or receive relevant vehicle data. Ladies and gentlemen, we at Skoda are always aiming for the best mobility solution. Therefore, we combine emotional design, space, space and functionality, efficient and innovative technologies, and simply clever solutions. And now, with the Scala, we achieved this in an impressive way. Impressive is, of course, the design of the Scala. It has turned out to be one of the most beautiful cars through the new emotional design language. Who can explain this better than our head of design, Oliver Stefani? Oliver, please join me. Jason, hi. Oliver, we always make step by step for the next model, but this time we have made a really big step. How was this possible? Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, Bernhard Meyer was talking about Bauhaus and architecture. And architecture is also very important for cars. 
We call it also proportions. And uh, this big step is really possible through this new proportions uh, on this car. So everything gets really better. So the car is wider, the car is longer, the car has more wheelbase, is more stretched, looks lower, and of course, we have bigger wheels, that helps also. We are very often discussing about bigger wheels. <laughs> yeah. We are also discussing very often about the Skoda DNA. What makes Skoda a Skoda? Tell us something about it, please. Well, we think that this DNA is really important for our brand. And uh, we have design criteria. The DNA contains the design criteria. And what we want to achieve is that every Skoda is really recognizable on the road. So when you look at the car, what is very important, of course, is the face. Uh, and we see here that we have this hexanol grille with the vertical ribs. The headlights are connected to the grille. We have the lower air intake that stretches from one side to the other. And we have the power dome here on the bonnet that intercepting also with the grille with the logo. So this is really important for our DNA. And this is, makes the Skoda. For instance, here, this line here of the bonnet. I think I can remember that we have discussed it very much. Yeah, this is also a good point. Because we're also coming from the side, this line that we call the wing line is also very special for Skoda. And of course, a special feature is always the shut line on the side. It's almost hidden yeah, in the wing line and gives us designers much more creativity. Yeah. But also, we have a DNA in the interior. And this is also a complete new architecture. So the central unit of this architecture is our virtual display, 9.2 inches big. And we see that we have also some kind of gesture where the central console is a bit lower. And then the deco part swings up to the sides and is stretching out into the doors. You see that the fans, vents are already in the doors, so also to give maximum width to the interior. So this is also some design criteria DNA that we also play in the future on other cars. Oliver, I th we both know, and I think everybody here knows, everything is nothing without emotion. And how we, do we bring this emotion in this car? Well, first is very important, function and emotions. So emotions, we should want to touch the customer's heart also. Yeah? So when you look also in the front, the way the front stands, how proud it is, how much character the front has, with the grill, with the headlights. Look at this super nice headlights with these eyelashes, the crystalline shapes in this. This gives is pure emotion. Yeah? And when we look at the side of the car, then also we see that this wing line that I already mentioned is stretching the car. The line is running above the front, line, uh, front wheel. So this is also for this calm and, and sophisticated uh, appearance. And we do a lot with light and shadow. We use the surfaces to create really some emotional surface. The, the car is sitting super nicely on the wheels. And there's one beauty shot on this car also on the rear. Right. So you see we have this black roof. And we make this roof also. We continue to this into the rear glass all the way down. So we have a nice connection with this razor sharp crystalline line, SPVR lights. And this is the perfect place to ride Skoda, which we're going to do on all new cars that are coming. Oliver, please come to me. We are working really hard every day, nearly every day together. If you want, you can give a really small insight about the future of the Skoda design at this moment here. Well, um, I can promise, I can promise that we will see a lot of more beautiful cars from Skoda. And I have seen them already, of course. Yeah, yeah me too. And I